All right, I'm going to begin under the Geometry tab. I'm going to select under the Complex Geometry pull down our new Deed Boundary tool. Uh, I want to look at all three of these options. Let's begin with the Shape Element option uh, where you can identify anything that's a shape. So I'm just going to identify this one. I'm going to specify the commencing point, And then I have the option through the Reset command to go either way. And I'm going to accept that, and you can see that my geometry is created. We also have the ability to do by elements. And so here what we're going to do is let's just select, uh, I'll select this element, this element, that element, and that element. Click outside of it, move uh, your commencing point. In this case, I'm going to do this uh, northwest corner and say OK. And you can see that piece of geometry was created uh, there. The last thing we want to do is we want to look at the uh, we want to look at the flood option. And so here I want to create this area right here. So I'm just going to put a data point right in there. Again, it asks for the commencing point, uh, the direction. I'm going to say OK, and you can see. Uh, so we've created one element there, another geometry element there, and a third geometry element there. In addition, because we now have geometry elements, uh, they can be uh, annotated using uh, whatever annotation group you desire.